We are live on Stockton 360, uh, KXVS 92.1 FM, soon to be. Uh, let's, uh, can you turn us up on the headphones? Yeah, all the way live, all the way live. So, uh, well, welcome back. Welcome back on the air. Uh, yeah. Professor Jimenez. Oh, my God, Governor Don, I can't believe that we are actually yeah. doing this. This is awesome. It is, it is. Welcome. I'm glad to be back. I am, too. Oh, we've been working really hard over the past few weeks. Uh, we few have. Months. Trying to get all this together. Right. I can't believe it's also the, almost the middle of July. Yeah, yeah. That was fast, since May 28th. Yeah, yeah that was our <laughs> last broadcast. Um, and then we, uh, so we moved over here to Stone Soup Studios. Right. And uh, then we uh, basically been building and assessing and putting stuff together ever since. And so, uh, so yeah, welcome to our commemorative uh, I initial broadcast uh, right here at Stone Soup Th Studios on KXVS, the voice of Stockton. This is, if, you, if you're if you familiar with the tune, that was the Stockton 360 tune, and this is Stockton 360 on KXVS. This is Governor Don. Professor Hernandez. And we actually we have a studio full of engineers and techs, just like it is. We expect it on the first day. Definitely. Uh, yes, yes. So um, it's good. It's good if you're catching us on our live stream, uh, kxvs.org, thevoiceofstockton.org. Uh, click the link, and you can uh, view us on live stream. And we have a, a special guest. Yes, we do. We have a special guest today. Her name is Lindsay Rodrian. She is the managing editor uh -huh. of San Joaquin Magazine. Excellent. And she will be here for the second hour of Stockton 360. All right, so we'll get to her in just a few minutes, actually. Yeah, about, yes. About 15 minutes. That's minutes. right. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Time well, flies. Well, a lot's been going on. Uh, we've obviously missed lots of news because we haven't been on the air. We've been building this new station. Right. Uh, your station right here uh, in on the Miracle Mile in lovely Stockton, California. And so, you know, basically uh, there's a ton of stories that we could really delve into. Um, but the one that uh, it, it struck me right away was this Pokemon story. <laughs> you, I know. <laughs> Don't ask me if I did. I guess I did. I downloaded it. And yes, I'm catching Pokemons in my backyard. Haven't you seen uh, <laughs> uh, people walking around looking straight on their phones, straight down to their phones and just walking around like well it's funny there's this video and it's supposed to be a funny video but this gentleman is like looking for pokemons and it's in a train station and he jumps on the train tracks oh, wow. and i'm thinking that's not funny no. and so um things like that are you know could happen yeah. um i think because of how the game is set up that you use a walk you know you you download it for free but the good part about it you can walk and you're finding and catching Pokemons, and you're in the world of Pokemon. So, um, with that said, I yeah. sent you a story. Yes, yes. So from NPR. Of course, of course. So, I mean, uh, and I, I'm sure everyone's been catching on. It's funny because it's called, you know, that's like their phrase, catchphrase is catch them all. Um, and so, I mean, all the kids are, it's all the rage. It's all over Facebook. So, I mean... It, What's the big deal about this app, <laughs> this game? The interesting part about it is that um, it's free. And then the other part of it is that um, you make your own kind of, um, you have your own, I well, yeah, you're an icon. You're a, um, you're your own avatar there. And when you create yourself, it basically depicts where you are at GPS-wise. So GPS-wise, if you're located at your home, you see your streets, and then you see little Pokemon that come up as you're walking, and your goal is to get into that ball or, you know, that whole power thing, and you, like, move it up, and when you move it up with your finger, you're basically catching the Pokemon, and then there you go. It comes to life that the street that you're on, or let's say your backyard, or even, like, where you're sitting at, comes to life in front of your your screen of your phone so that's what's interesting about this game the other part of that is is that Pokemon goes back to the 1990s I believe I never played Pokemon I mean I'm a parent of 
you know, of a child that had Pokemon as a kid or what had Pokemon. Um, but nevertheless, I think that's why it's um, very important that we know that this Pokemon is Pokemon Go. Yeah, so uh, one of these mics. Mic test. And, um, well, what I'm going to do right now is kind of, well, Hello? let's see. Gloss over. Check. Now we go, finally. Okay. I'm here. Yes. Yes. You are. We're just having a little bit of, <laughs> you know, mic test mic. and kind of, you know, to our listeners, our wonderful listeners, we are right now live in studio. This is, it's been a while since we've been on, so right now, as we said, we have engineers in our studio with us, and we're, how do you say it, tweaking? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's <laughs> We're right. fixing? Making, making it go. Yes, we're making, making it making go. Making Pokemon go. Right. Well, uh, one of the things that I was, I was noticing about, now, of course, there's all sorts of fun, you know, you're, they're on their phones, and they're, sure. they're having a good time, but there's a, a little bit of danger involved. One of the first things that happens when you turn on this app is it says, be careful. Be, right. be uh, aware of your surroundings. Yes. And so, um, yeah. So think about you know the vulnerability of people walking around with their head down to their phone and they're you know not paying attention and sure. you know and other people know that the Pokemon is in that area because it, it's a race to try to catch it. Right. So if somebody had like bad intentions, they right. could they could take advantage of somebody doing that, doing just that. So. Uh, thank you. Thank you for adjusting the audio. That sounds great. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, station manager Dante Henry putting the, putting the golden touches on it. Um, so that's something to be aware of, you know, all the all the kids out there and the parents out there, you know, there's already been incidents of, yes. vi of people getting robbed. I for, know. For um, that article that I sent you actually yeah, talks about it. Right. For... People yeah. were robbed. Yeah. So, and how easy would it be to for someone to say, "Oh, here's a here's a Pokemon people will want." So I'm gonna, you know, they would sit there and wait, kind of like ambush, an unsuspecting, mm -hmm. you know, uh, an unsuspecting nerd. And, and you <laughs> Poke know, nerds. You know, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword because um, this game as much fun as it is, and as modern or high tech it, it is as yeah. it is. It really opens up the window because you have a GPS signal. Yeah. Right? So, oh. you know how, like, usually we're protective of our youth or our kids, yeah. knowing where people, where, where they are, you know? And here we are, we've got this game. And, and I have to say, you know, at, I don't play games. I have never downloaded a game till I saw this and I said, oh, I gotta download this. Yeah. Only because I wanted to see what it was about. Yeah. And it can be fun, but you would have to, you know, how do I say it? have nothing else to do that day because <laughs> yeah. it gets frustrating when you have to say, oh, man, I got to get dressed. Oh, I got to do this. And I, there's a Pokemon on the other side because you, you could see it. And Julio is funny talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Julio, so tell me what's on it. <laughs> all right, so can you hear me? Sure, can you hear me? Turn, no, I can't hear you. Turn it up. All right. Um, there so, you go. All right. So, yeah, like when I download, you know, this app on, on my iPhone, um, you know, it seems like it gets people, you know, you know, like interactive. You know, you get to meet new people, and it gets you to do activities. You know, it gets you, you know, to walk out more um, outside because, you know, like what I've seen on the good side. You know, um, you meet people that are like on your on the same team. You know, like for example, you know, there's Team Valor, there's Team Instinct, and there's that blue team. And so, you know, you know, you're all you get to know each other and gang up on, you know, on the um, on the gym, you know, and then you also, you know, but, you know, other than that, like, you know, what she was saying, there is a bad side, too. You got to be very careful. Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're opening up to your GPS location, and people can find, you know, where you at, and then, you know, you can get robbed, too, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, that's something that always, you always should be aware of. That's, you know, when you're, when you're on your phone at all. Um, there was an article in Medium. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this guy named Omaria Kiel said that, uh, he uh, posted something say Pokemon Go is a death sentence if you're a black man. Um, wow, really? Yeah, like uh, mm. ba you know, basically drawing reference to you know uh, the uh, the likelihood that people would view 
uh, a black man s- suspiciously if he's going back and forth, mm. looking at his phone back. Because, you know, you might go back and forth the same area, back and forth, and people right. start. And, and uh, that was his experience. He said he, pl- he played the, the game, but he noticed that uh, people were watching him suspiciously. And he felt very uncomfortable, and he, he said he couldn't really get into the game anymore. He started worrying about whether police were going to get called on him, whether he was going to be the next, you know, un- unarmed wow. death. Um, so, yeah, there's all, I mean, there's all sorts of things to consider. Uh, mm-hmm. it, is, it, is a, it is such a big deal. Uh, I heard that Nintendo stock went up a 30- 36. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was like, wow. So that's uh, wow. unheard of. So, wow. um, yeah, and everybody, I'm sure uh, they're like, oh, I should have bought Nintendo stock yesterday. <laughs> well, this is the other side of it, too. Because of all of everyone since the release of this Pokemon Go game, uh-huh. they have, um, there has been difficulty getting onto the server. Oh yeah. And yes. also I've yeah. read that there are there's a copycat hacker Ooh, wow. that, that's out there because as wow. it was released to different mm-hmm. countries, mm-hmm. the ones that were released later, like Australia okay. and New, New Zealand, awesome. there are also there are copycats. Ah. There there's a copycat um, hacker out there. Yes. So you gotta be careful when you in fact there's an article that says if you downloaded the app, this is how to know it's legitimate. And I was Laughing last night, I said, "What? They caught know. on so fast." Yeah, how do you know? If we, how yeah. do you know if it's the the, the legit, the, le, the legit um, app? I'll share it to you. I don't have it all right now. But oh, I, mean, okay. I didn't really think I was going to talk about it in jet like like I was. I wow. am right now. It turns out it's the yeah. story of the day. Yeah. The story of the day. All right. Okay. So, so we're going approaching the top of the hour. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to be speaking uh, with uh, San Joaquin Magazine. Yes, her yeah. name is Lindsay Rodrian. Lindsay Rodrian, the managing editor. Yes, yeah, that's a great, that's a great magazine. Yes. Now, San Joaquin Magazine is the one that does the best of. Right? Yes, best the best of, of the. Joaquin. Yes, the best of San Joaquin. Yes, yes. 2016, uh, and just to give you a little bit of um, insight, this Thursday they're holding their party of the year, ah. a very first celebration, which will be proceeds will go to United Way. Okay. So we'll have her discuss more about it, and uh, we'll call her in soon. And perhaps um, do we go on a break soon, Gav? Or yeah, we'll just, let's just uh, let's just remind people that they're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, uh, soon to be on ninety two point one FM. That's with, uh, of course, with your help and support. We are broadcasting from the Voice of Stockton dot org and KXVS dot org, of course. And uh, we'll be uh, right back uh, in just a, just a moment. Peace and Justice Network. DJ Nikki D. London Mark. Al X. And you can catch us on the Rise and Shine 209 show. We talk about music, sports, pop culture, and whatever we feel like talking about. Anything that's funny, interesting that we can give you our insight to. From 7 to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. 
right here on KXBS, the voice of Star. Right here on 92.1 FM. Coming soon. All right, and we're back, stocked in 360 live on KXVS. Uh, soon to be on 92.1 FM. Of course, we're broadcasting from the voice of Stockton.org right here in Stone Soup Studios. This is Governor Don. Professor Jimenez. And we are here with a special guest uh, from, uh, I'm sure, uh, some of you's favorite uh, magazine, uh, San Joaquin Magazine, um, Lindsay. Hello, yes, we do. Everyone. Yes. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> is there a mic up? Mic. Yeah, Mic check one, two, one. Let's two. see, let's see. Now I'm going to have to probably. We need a little more mic action here. Yes, because we want you full voice. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, it's sounding crumbly. Are we on? So. There you go. Microphone check one, two, one, two. Mic check, mic check. You've got to get close to it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's make. Is there. Go ahead. Testing. Can you hear it? Can we turn that up? The microphone. All right. All the way up. All the way up. All right. Okay. You just get close to it like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As we were saying earlier, we are um, live in studio. That's right. Well, this is our new home. Of course, we. You've, if you've listened to Stockton 360 before, it was on KWDC. Right. And we were out of uh, Delta College. And we moved up over here to the Miracle Mile. And... Uh, working in the new facility of course we're doing lots of uh, building and construction and we'll be uh, building a brand new station here and, uh, and looking to be on the fm dial uh, yeah hello i know so we're just having minor just little texts here and there this is our first show like i mentioned to you our first guest well i'm very uh, i'm very grateful yeah. to be your first guest. it is you know so the best the best thing about um Doing live radio, <laughs> live in studio. Yes, you it's can, all the fun. It's all the fun. You have to go through it and kind of like jump through hoops with it. It's raw and it's real people. It's real stuff. <laughs> That's you know, right. it's, it's not like, you know, staged and it's not, it, it isn't like that. And you, you guys seem much to... nicer than Howard Stern, so I feel oh. very comfortable already. All Thank right. You. <laughs> well, you're welcome here and you're welcome, of course, to come back. San Joaquin Magazine, uh, I know uh, it's a regular periodical. But I think a lot of people know it from the best of. Yes, that's the correct. The best of San Joaquin. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that's something that, uh, you know, we see the signs around town. Businesses are very proud of being named best of. They are. Yeah. And I think a lot of that comes from how we do best of San Joaquin. So it started 10 years ago. This is our 10th annual. And originally... Um, People voted from inserts in the magazine. So uh -huh. you received the magazine, you actually filled it out. This was before the internet boom. And then they mailed it back in. So today, um, now everyone goes online to sjmag.com and they vote for a bunch of different categories ranging from food, drinks, healthcare providers, wedding and parenting resources, education, um, beauty services. So there's a ton of different things. and. People are just really excited about it. This year we had over 5,000 voters, um, wow. which just blew us away. So that was that was super cool. And um, then every July, we come out with our best of San Joaquin issue. And once all of the votes are tallied, mm -hmm. we report on everyone that won. Yeah. So we get to interview these people, photograph them, and then kind of share with the public to see if your favorite is also everyone else's favorite. So they, there's like a, is runners up and first, second, yes. Yes, we do first, second, third for every single category, um, and then we actually sp spotlight for first, second, and third because that's still quite you know a big accomplishment sure. for those companies. So sure. we keep it um, just to show love to everyone. And the only thing with the voting is you do have to vote for 15 different categories for yeah. your ballot to be considered. So people that are voting, just keep in mind you do have to fill out at least 15 categories. Right. Wow, right. Mm -hmm. I thought it was 25. Nope, 15. 15. That's yep. good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also the okay. um, vote. Voting starts in, let's see, it starts in March and then it ends in May. So oh. for th those whole months, you can go on and vote, but it's just a one-time vote. 
Okay, so it ends in May, so this voting is over. Yes, voting yes. is over. Oh. So that gives us time to, you know, get all of the votes in, calculate who's won, and then to build the entire magazine. So we do interviews, articles, and photography featuring all of the winners. So that is two months is basically all the time we need to build that magazine. So Yes, that's awesome. I, and like I said, people really, uh, they, they, uh, they take great pride in being, uh, one of the best of we if, right now if you just drive around town if you're paying attention you're seeing lots of like added signs to people's businesses uh, when they were because they were voted best of last year yep. or the year mm -hmm. before and um uh, some have been voted best of just over and over again. Oh, yeah. We have some advertisers that it's just medallion after medallion on their ads. It's just a whole line of, of all the years running that they've won. And I think that's a really great way just to kind of pump up the community because these businesses are praised and mm -hmm. they're showcased and they're shown that they're appreciated. And that's part of what San Joaquin's mission is, is to, you know, shine light on everything positive yeah. and to praise the people that are doing great things in the community. So it just is a really awesome way to just kind of give them a high five so how much are you involved with that that part of it are, are, are you know are you uh, are you really involved in the best of uh, selections and search so we don't select them mm -hmm. um, all we do is we come up with the category so okay. this year we added an entire new category um, of services so it was different things like best air conditioning company best ah. kitchen remodeler so every mm -hmm. year um, as a staff we get together and we say you know what should we add yeah, so because um, it's getting bigger the yeah, categories are getting it's more getting bigger and then we want to give more people opportunity as well so we've expanded it this year and we added like best paint night because paint nights are huge now right. and uh, best food truck because that's a really big thing too oh, so yeah. I only really have to do with the categories and then I'm a writer um, for the magazine as well so I write on the things but it's Reader's Choice Awards so Wonderful. they vote I did vote as well but of course but the 5,000 votes are, are what you know yeah. picks the winners definitely, wow definitely 5,000 yeah. huh yeah, yeah it's yeah. awesome to see it grow every year it's it's very cool so now we're now we're voting online, and there's a bunch of new categories. You mentioned mm -hmm. a few. Um, what what did it start out with? Like, what are the uh, flagship categories that everyone you know kind of uh, assumes is going to be part of? It started out food and drink. So uh, within each category are like subcategories. So it's best appetizer, best uh, steakhouse, <laughs> best you know cocktail all these different things so we started off that way best and sandwich. then yes best best deli <laughs> oh, best all these deli, different all right. types of things so then mm -hmm. uh the best chef all this different kind of stuff wow. so then as it's gone we've just added more and more i'm sure when it started with the mail-in you could only fit so much on the little voter card but now that it's online mm -hmm. we can just make it as big as we want so so tell us about the the I mean this this magazine is a, is a fine publication. I, I saw I read the reviews on Yelp and some were kind mm -hmm. of funny. <laughs> like somebody said something along the lines of uh, I thought this was just such a big fluff magazine and then I started so much enjoying the fluff and <laughs> realized that now it's like my favorite magazine. <laughs> so yeah. I I yeah. went to school for journalism obviously and I was actually really into investigative journalism. That where was, did you go? Um, I went to ASU. Oh, right. yeah. Right. So I was really into investigative journalism and when I started working for San Joaquin Magazine what I really loved was that we focus on everything positive. Mm -hmm. So people can call it fluff or they can call it positivity. If you want to read about yeah. shootings and deaths you can go to the newspaper. If you want to read about what makes this community great you can go to San Joaquin Magazine. Yeah, yeah. That's and, true. And we love, we love that. I mean um, there's, a, there's a few magazines out there that really do um, highlight the best of what we have here and definitely San Joaquin is one of them. Yeah, um, and we still touch on, on hard issues but we touch more on the solution than the problem. So, right. for example, um, we just did a, an article on Stockton 209 Cares, which is mm -hmm. a company that helps homeless people. Right. And it's actually founded by two people that were homeless themselves. So instead of, you know, doing an expose on the homeless in this community are out of control and they're everywhere. We, we want to praise the people that are helping them. And that's kind of, you know, what we prefer to do. Yeah. yeah. Are you aware of the other magazine, Positive Perspective? No, I'm not. Oh, I have to share that with you. That would be Being awesome. that you're a managing editor, yeah. you know, you're yeah. an editor. So Very you can cool. see also, it's a nice positive yeah. magazine as well. Is, is like positive perfect Perspectives... Stockton is that it's positive yes positive perspective Stockton and yeah. the, and uh, Peter Powers is the owner and publisher of it okay very yeah, cool. yeah, yeah definitely it, a person to bring more positivity on it I'm is. all for it yeah yeah <laughs> actually there's a the, the magazine just came out and there's yes. an article about the, the station yes oh, I will awesome. send it to you very yeah, cool yeah, yes indeed that's great now um 
the, so what is the overall mission? Is there a mission statement for San Joaquin Magazine? So basically, we strive to connect um, the people to the community. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, we want to support the growth and the prosperity of the community. And through that, we just try to showcase um, all the amazing businesses and resources and all of the people that are just so selfless and hardworking and dedicated. And we get to learn more about them mm -hmm. and connect with them on a personal level and share that with our readers. And that's really what we strive to do yeah now uh so how many years has the magazine been in 15 in the years so our wow. publisher um tony zicoli he saw a need for a magazine like this because when he came up with the idea of san joaquin magazine there were really only newspapers in the right. area so mm -hmm. he decided to invest in um, you know, a glossy page, lifestyle, kind of aesthetic looking magazine, something right. that people would put on their coffee table or share with their friends, something that would stick around for a while. And that aspect of it is really also great for our advertisers because that gives them a presence and it's mm -hmm. um, just a longer life for their ads and for their, um, you know, showcase it within the community. Yeah, it's interesting you say 15 years because I moved here 13 years ago. And that was, this was, uh, San Joaquin Magazine was the first magazine I picked up. Oh, cool. And it was interesting because when I had moved from the Bay Area to here, um, I brought it back and I said, see, see, this is how San Joaquin looks. And they're like, really? That's how it looks? And it, because it was beautiful, mm -hmm. right? The magazine is beautiful, laid out. The articles are nice, although there are Thank advertisers, you. right? Yeah. Um, the stories are direct. And, that when it was only probably in its second year or third year mm -hmm. then in 2012 I remember that it was really focused on food and places to go yes. and wine yes mm -hmm. yes absolutely right. very then. very food focused yeah. and we still do food and wine in sure. every single issue um, but we've grown our page count has grown so much that that gives us the capability to you know do a lot more yeah, oh, yeah, tell us more about the different publications of San Joaquin so Magazine. So we have grown a lot over the years, and that's really exciting for us because that means the community is growing as well. So yeah. obviously we wouldn't be here if the community wasn't growing and thriving. So every time we have the opportunity to add another type of magazine, we get excited. Um, a lot of our advertisers are in a specific niche, whether it be like the healthcare community, mm -hmm. um, home improvement, boutiques, different things like that. So we wanted to kind of provide them and our readers with a concise, um, focused magazine that was specific to that area. So we have a health and medical magazine mm -hmm. that we come out with annually, a home and garden magazine, parenting magazine, um, Wedding Magazine, right. Wine Dine 209, which right. is strictly food and wine, and then our City Guide, which is our newest, um, mm -hmm. and that was really fun to work on, and we just came out with that in, um, in June. I see. Yeah. So that's, that's quite a bit. Of, yeah, we so have you're a, really busy. We are very busy. Deadlines, deadlines, <laughs> yes, deadlines. Exactly. And it never stops. Once it's done, we do it all again. So it's just, <laughs> it's a rotating wheel of crazy fun. <laughs> well, that's okay. Now, this buildup for the best of has been going on for, you know, a good part of the year now. And so there's a big to-do, a big party yes. happening. Tell us about that. So um, this is the first time we've done something like this. Um, because it is our 10th annual edition, we thought, um, you know, we wanted to further our mission by further showcasing the best of San Joaquin and then bringing the people together mm -hmm. um, and putting them all under one roof. So we decided to... Um, to throw a party. So we picked Viaggio Estate and Winery. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but I it's am. absolutely gorgeous. So it is. that alone is beautiful. <laughs> so we chose the venue and we reached out to over 20 different restaurants and wineries that were voted by our readers Best of San Joaquin. And we asked them to come and serve alcohol and pour wine and sure. serve food. So um, they're all going to be there. And $40 ticket gets you access to all of the food and drinks that you could ever desire. Um, and we're going to have a DJ and a band and um, photo booth fun, caricature artists, all this different stuff. So That sounds like a lot of fun. And it a does. $40 ticket. Right. And, Why it's, not? And, and, and you know what's nice about it? It's actually going to happen this Thursday. Uh-huh. And it's going to be 101 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I looked I on... I was just about to do it, traffic and, I just, and weather, and I just saw it. Uh -oh. On one. Saturday, it was 82, so I thought, ooh, this feels nice. And I pulled up the weather app on my phone, and it says 
Thursday, 100 degrees, hottest day of the week. And I said, oh, well, of course that would happen. But uh -huh. we do have, we have all of the Agio. So we have the out, the outside area, mm -hmm. Main Street. We have the wine tasting room, which is indoor. Nice. And the huge banquet hall, which is indoor. So if you want to escape the heat, you have ample room and the, the DJ and the dance party is inside. So you won't have to get too sweaty. Nice. How nice. exciting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Maybe, and, maybe some oh, misting stations. Yeah, here yeah, and something there. like that. <laughs> and then all ticket proceeds do benefit United Way of San Joaquin. Um, mm -hmm. We chose them as our beneficiary because they just do so many amazing things for local charities um they act yeah. as the middleman to just really support these people that are you know improving the the quality of life of the people that live here so we wanted to support them and they will also um have an array of over 100 different raffle prizes that people can bid on and also um local stockton artist Erin elizabeth will be doing a live mural painting that wow. can be auctioned off at the end of the event as well so we're excited wow. about that is it going to be is this going to be made during the event yeah she's going to be do live painting how cool yeah i was really excited uh, uh. when she jumped on board for that so that'll be a cool little aspect of the right. party as well yes you totally got to get like a stop motion camera so you can see it being we painted. Made. Well, yeah it's gonna be cool i know i'm yeah. excited yeah. wow yeah. and it happens thursday um, on the hottest day of the week yeah uh, where's <laughs> it, it going to be at again the viaggio viaggio winery and yeah. that's yeah. in ocampo yeah uh, okay yeah it's okay. not too far it's just off of i-5 right if yes. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's off I five. It's in the whole. Oh. It's right in wine country. In right. Lodi. I'll give you the address after we go on break. All right. After we come back from break. And I do have tickets for you guys too, so I expect what? you to be there. All right. All right. <laughs> that was yeah. the other part I was gonna <laughs> yeah share with you, but oh. yeah. All go right. On break. Yeah. Let's go to a, a quick little break. Uh, you're listening to Stockton 360 on KXVS 92.1 FM. The voice of Stockton.org. This is Governor Don. Professor Jimenez. And with our special guest, Lindsay Rodrian. All right, with San Joaquin Magazine. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Richard Slesak on KXVS here at Stone Soup Studio, and I am the voice of Stockton. You can be the voice of Stockton, too. To be part of KXVS, the voice of Stockton, go to our website, thevoiceofstockton.org, to find out more information on how you can be a part of KXVS, the voice of Stockton. Your voice is our voice, the voice of Stockton. Right here on 92.1 FM, coming soon. All right, we are back on Stockton 360 live at KXVS, soon to be on 92.1 FM. We are right now on the voice of Stockton.org, KXVS.org. This is Governor Don. Professor Jimenez. And we're here with our special guest from San Joaquin Magazine, Lindsay Rodrian. Hello. How are you? I'm great. I just want to say, uh, radio show has been a dream of mine forever. When I was a little girl, <gasps> oh. I would watch them on TV in the station and think, oh, that looks so fun. So I, when you called me, I just called all my friends and family. And I said, I get to be on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope they're tuning in. Yeah, I've, I've been, they are. Shout out to um, Mom and Dad and Dan and Corey and all of my friends. Yes, yes, <laughs> Oh, and yes. Crystal. All right, all right. You heard that. You heard that. <laughs> yes, of course. And uh, I'm very glad. We're very glad to have you on uh we've of course you know being uh we you know we call our station the voice of stockton so we are always you know we look at other uh, publications and media outlets and uh as you know parts also the other voices of stockton and san joaquin magazine is one of those uh publications that we look to all the time and the and the um people of stockton and the people of san joaquin look to it uh we talked about the best of and we have uh this issue coming up it had well it, th this big party. <laughs> uh, the, you've been working uh, furiously uh, this uh, this y these past few months and getting the best of issue. And you said that there's tons more categories. Uh, t tell us some of the new categories that are in the, in the so magazine. So we this year. did um, a whole new. So within within each category, subcategories, we added additional subcategories, and then we added a whole new um, service category. Mm -hmm. So it's different things like. Best kitchen remodeler, yeah. um, best interior designer, yeah. best um, 
air conditioning service, carpet cleaner, uh, you know, landscape, landscape yeah, design, oh, all knew, these different things. That was be yeah, it. so that because we had a home and garden magazine for the first time last year, we saw mm-hmm. such a great response from that, and yeah. we wanted to add that um, to you know as an opportunity for them to to be praised and showcased as well. So yes. they're very excited. And we and we, of course businesses and organizations are so proud to be uh, one of the best. And they, uh, they, we see them prominently displaying their best of uh, plaques and um, the logos on their ads and such. And so um, now the voting has already happened, you say? Yes, yes. The voting is done. But and the results haven't been released? So we released them July 1st. So every July okay. our magazine is what releases them. But we do call people um, to tell them that they've won beforehand yes. because we put the medallion on their ads. Oh. Or we give them the ah. sticker that you see in the window or different things like that. So that happens about a month before the magazine comes out. And we have to tell them, you cannot tell. <sighs> and I think it's very difficult for people to okay. keep it in so they get so excited and they start, they say, but can we tell this person? And I say, okay, but they can't tell anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> start to generate so the really, buzz. It's just really fun to see how excited people yeah. get because it's it's awesome. It just makes our job so much more enjoyable when, sure. when we see how pumped up people are. Yes, yeah, yes. what a so, gesture of goodwill. Yeah, and they've been ha- awesome. people have actually been able to keep, keep the secret, I guess. So now they the, have. Ca- the cat's out the bag. They've though. done a really good job, and now the cat is out the bag. So if yes. you're on Facebook, you'll see everyone saying, thank you we, for voting us best of, and they just <laughs> get, true. they just love it. Yes, yes. One of my doctors is, again, number one. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, who oh, is no. it? Dr. Yuvu. Oh, yeah, we love him. Yeah. yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, he's a nice guy. And then his wife is also a pediatrician, who's my son's doctor. I actually did an article on them a couple years ago. Um, Doctors Without Borders. Oh, and, that's right. Yeah, and we I got to it. talk with him and his wife, and they sent me some really moving photos. That wow. was like one of the favorite articles that I have ever written. Um, it was really powerful. It was beautiful. Yeah, wow. beautiful yeah. people. Yes, absolutely, really one hundred percent. Yeah. Now you you said that you're new to the area. Yes. And uh, you seem to be uh, f- f- adjusting well. Yes, I joke with my friends at home and say that I was born and raised here, and they laugh at me <laughs> <laughs> because at the I swear the moment I came here I just felt. Um, um, it felt very homey for me. Like I said, I was in, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, okay. um, but I went to school in Arizona, and Arizona quite nev- never quite felt like home. But when I got here, I just felt so at home, and I just really love it. And it was cool because I was working freelance for San Joaquin Magazine for two years mm-hmm. um, without ever even being in the Central Valley. I'd never been here before. So oh, it was wow. a really neat way to get acquainted with the area mm-hmm. because I was writing articles and interviewing people like Joel Fazzo with mm-hmm. March of Dimes and yeah. Andy Prokop with United Way. And I just thought, wow, this community seems so cool and tight-knit yeah. and supportive. And I came here um, for an event that San Joaquin Magazine had for our 100th issue party Mm -hmm. and I said you know I think I want to move here so then I came and it was neat too because I wrote on all these different places but I never actually got to see them so I'm driving down the street oh there's you know (laughs) there's that there's Bud Seafood there's Midgley's Public House and it was all these different things that I knew so much about but I never actually got to physically see so it was really fun now you said Pennsylvania Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Yes, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. And, yes. Ah. And the Pirates, right? Yeah, yeah. Pirates. That's what. Yeah, that's right. Go Buckos. Sorry, Giants fans. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Everyone's, everyone's, everyone's allowed gonna to root. Now everyone's going to turn the station and say, no, nah, they won't. everyone's allowed to root for their hometown. We, we know yeah. that. That's a given. Yeah. That's a given. Totally. Well, when, plus, you're a Stocktonian now. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We, we don't mind picking the best and, and, and re- repatriating them to Stockton. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's how, that's how most of us got here, I think, yeah. a lot of us got here that way and uh so um now you've been doing you've been writing for for some time uh, yes. journalism yes. Uh, investigative journalism things I, like that in college that's what i did yeah. that's what i really wanted to do um and i was actually when i first got out of college i got a job in marketing at the bondrant school which is a high performance mm-hmm. driving school mm-hmm. um and i was writing press releases and doing different things like that cool. but it wasn't my heart's work yeah. so mm-hmm. i was really excited to get an opportunity to writing is what i love to do so yeah. it was just so so fun. I love, I'm a people person. I love hearing stories. So it's so fun for me to talk to someone and to, you know, create something for them and then for them to really love it and call and say, can I have five more copies? Because, you know, I want to mail it to yeah. this person, this person that just right. makes me feel so good. And I, oh, yeah. I wake up every day excited to go to work and it's just my labor of love. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Now, earlier in the conversation, I, I was, I was joking about the Yelp, Yelp review. Um, and you know, uh, 
where, where it mentioned that they thought it was a, a fluff magazine and they just started to really so much enjoy it that they, you know i mean f- fluff is a is a is a is, it's, i think it's kind of like a, a not a very flattering word but um a a magazine that really brings out um positive uh, perspectives it's funny which is a positive perspective but, <laughs> um but it brings out you know the the enjoyable things yes right and the things that uh, are memorable not the things that you can't forget because you're dreaded but the things that you uh, can't forget because of what great memories they bring or or the uh, attachment or the uh, fondness that it brings uh to to the community and uh, that's one thing we can count on san joaquin magazine for um you know, in-depth discussions on, you know, food and th- places to eat. Um, th- there's a lot of uh, different, uh, y- you mentioned the home and garden mm-hmm. issue, which uh, is real big in our area. Yes. You know, that's a, that, it's a, it was a natural, it's funny, when I saw it, I thought, oh, they must have always been doing this because that just totally makes sense. Right. Well, what was cool is, like I said, you know, when we were able to grow, we realized that the community was growing as well. So with the Great Recession, Mm -hmm. um, you know, this area took a hit and especially the housing market. So Mm -hmm. we weren't able, it was a thought in our mind for a while, but it was something that we knew that the area wasn't ready for yet. So once we were able to debut it, it was a nice, it was, it felt good because we knew that, you know, everyone was coming back. People were buying homes again. People were able to afford to renovate their homes, um, things like that. So it was just, it's nice. It's always, it's always positive. And people are doing things a little bit differently. Like they're thinking about uh, indigenous species and sustainable yes, gardening. Yes, water, water and, or drought tolerant. Drought, I'm, yes. I'm obsessed with succulents, which yes. is why I originally liked Arizona. Uh-huh. So um, there would be lots of, of succulent articles in our August home and garden. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah, actually, I, I, I'm the same way. I, I, you know, if I find a new one, I get real thrilled. I'm like, oh, can I just pluck a little piece of you it? can and then you yeah. can propagate yeah, it yeah, i have one growing inside uh in my living room actually and it just grew a, lo- a new little bud yay yeah. nice. i picked them off off the side of the road honestly uh, hey <laughs> they world. even have a cutest pet cover contest yeah yes oh, it is. No. look at this <laughs> Seriously. Yes. Right. So every October, <laughs> we put someone's pet on the cover. Yes. I'm very angry because my boss refuses to put my dog on the cover yes. because <laughs> it's a conflict of interest. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we, I have so much fun with that. I'm a mm-hmm. dog lover, animal Aww. lover. I'm involved in um, dog rescue. So this is always a really fun issue for us because we get to go through the thousands of pet submissions and then we get to pick one that um that we see fit and then they get to we do a a doggy photo shoot with them how cool i bet you there's the most submissions for that oh yeah oh yeah there's a there's a lot (laughs) people are so into their pets they really are it's so funny it's like uh when we saw the uh there was a over the winter there was this uh, award for um non-profits and it was a a ten thousand dollar grant uh from uh i believe it was a financial uh center credit unions and um and like the top three choices were like animal stuff, you know, like I think that's who won ended up being uh, number one was like, I don't know, save the puppies or save the kittens. Or, <laughs> and, you know, save all the four legged friends. Yes, and, and that is what got all the votes. Check you, it out. Uh huh. <laughs> Our editor goes live at six on the voice of Stockton. Oh, what a K-X-B-S. dynamite pick. Yes, look at that. You were right out the front door. The Sandwiching Magazine and the best. Of, oh my God. <laughs> Thank Welcome. you for You're the plug. Welcome, of oh, course. Yes, indeed, indeed. Wow. Yeah, that is awesome. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I apologize. I just that's got, not like, a, I that's got breaking news. I got really <laughs> excited to see our name on San Joaquin Magazine. Yes. <laughs> Post. What a great picture, though. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. So now uh, everyone's got to take a picture standing right there. Yeah, we, we got to take a picture we with her. We can post oh, a course. follow-up. Absolutely. That's yeah. great. This is, thank you, really, yeah, Lindsay. Yeah, 100%. Thank you, guys. You made my dream come true. Well, you know, we, we, we are a community radio station. So if you, uh, I mean, uh, not to have any conflict. Yes. But uh, if you have, uh, you know, programming or, or information that you think is, is relevant Important. to the community, we would love to have you. Okay, yes, yeah. Yes, I, yes, would, yes. I would love you know? to do yes, that. Yes. And same for, for us, too, because we we always, you know, we encourage the community to come with us and to us with ideas because, mm-hmm. as I said, we do have a very small staff. So sure. it's hard to always find all of sure. these things. And there's so many things oh, going yeah. on. So we love those people that, you know, bring information to us mm-hmm. and tell us stuff. So we'd love for you guys to, you know, share what you know with us as well. well I do. Definitely. I already have a story idea for you. Perfect. 
Well, now I, I'll share later. If, if, if next year you had a category called, called Be Best Community, community radio, radio Station, we'd be the only I think, I community think radio station that. in the category, though. That would be interesting. But and there that, are other community radios, right? Well, yes, but none of them would be broadcasting FM. Got it. Yes, 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 yes. yes, so, yes, yes so that's uh, yeah, that's something to. But hey, uh, we'll be in there next next year. So we go on break again. Yeah, let's take another little break. You listen to Stockton 360 live on KXVS. Soon to be on 92.1 FM, broadcasting all the way live from the voice of Stockton.org. This is Governor Don. Professor Jimenez. And with our special guest from San Joaquin Magazine, Lindsay Rodrian. We'll be right back. You're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, here on 92.1, coming soon. I'm Marielle, the news director of KXVS on Stockton 360 here at Stone Soup Studios. Featured people, top news, places, and issues of Stockton, California. So if you want the top news, the top places to go, and information that keeps you listening closely about your town, check out Stockton 360 News Magazine. Join us on KXVS, the voice of Stockton. KXVS LP Stockton on 92.1, coming soon. Monday through Friday from 5 to 7. And we are back. Stockton 360, live on KXVS, the voice of Stockton, soon to be on 92.1 FM. Thanks to the support of our wonderful community. And also, we are broadcasting live right now at thevoiceofstockton.org. This is Governor Don. Professor Jimenez. And we're here with our special guest from San Joaquin Magazine, Lindsay Rodrian. Am I saying that right? Yes, you are. Rodrian. I, I just accept it in about four different types of ways. So, it's, actually, a funny story. Okay. So, sure. I, about two months ago, I had someone call the magazine office and she asked for me but she said Rod Ryan and I said um, yes is this she um, this, it's Lindsay Rodrian and she said oh um, we're relatives I saw your name in the magazine there's only a few of us left and you're saying your last name wrong <laughs> yes. yes that <laughs> happened did. to me too so it's Rod Ryan <laughs> apparently of yes. Course. Oh, yes of course, yes. Of course you had it Ryan. wrong yeah so but I'm just sticking to what I've been saying my yeah, whole life so yeah. me too like, whatever flows off the tongue is I had the me. same experience <laughs> yeah they, they, I saw I you know, I was in a court, uh, I think it was a ticket or something, and uh -huh. the judge was like, uh, Mashevsky? <laughs> Anything but, right? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you're saying it wrong. It's just, no, I'm from the East Coast. I know that name. <laughs> you're saying it wrong. But I never, I never acclimated either. Does that mean you got out of the ticket since it wasn't you? No. <laughs> no. That's funny. You know, you know. Here's how not to get out of a ticket. You know, don't don't be right and know you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're gonna get the ticket. <laughs> you gotta be right and be like so humble and mm -hmm. like, oh, and you know, you, you do the thing here, like. Uh, you're, it's easier for you're, us girls because then you just start to cry. I know, oh. and you go like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, that's, now that's a whole different story, but it's true. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do a ticket count. No, no ticket no, counts. No, no, no. Oh, fellas, you'll be, your feelings will be hurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And i got to carry these groceries. Yeah, that's what it takes. You're funny. <laughs> we are here with Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Rodrian uh, from San Joaquin Magazine. Uh, we've been talking about... Um, uh, well, what a, what a great publication uh, is definitely uh, beautiful. Uh, right, and well, she's a well managing a editor. Managing editor was just like uh, all these pieces got to go here, and no, none of that, and too much of this, but not enough of that. I could imagine yeah. her days, yeah. you know, like deadlines, uh -huh. deadlines, and deadlines, and she's still smiling. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is a monthly publication. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. So you're smiling. So when I said it starts right all over again, it literally it never stops. So uh -huh. every single month we have at least one. Some and this month we're actually printing three because we have our regular San Joaquin magazine, mm -hmm. our home and garden magazine and our wedding magazine how long so have you been the, the managing editor um it's been almost four years so oh, wow all the ones that i've been looking at that's you yep 
Mm -hmm. Love your work, Lindsay. Thank you. Beautiful. We actually just did um, a redesign a couple of months ago. Our graphic designer is killer. He's amazing. Shout out to David Martinez. Um, He's fantastic. So we redid our look just to kind of update it and give it a fresher look. Um, And I really like it. Yes. Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. But people now don't realize that it's us, I think, because it looks so much different. So they are like, wait, is this still your magazine? We say, yeah, we just just gave it a little, you know, makeover. It's funny she says that because I have to actually open the page and look mm-hmm. at the left well, the side. covers look so different yeah, they're now. beautiful yeah i love them mm. yeah, yeah. yes love them Stellar. love them yeah, yeah he yeah. does an awesome Thank job you. Well, you know, this is a, you know, it's a staple around town, uh, you know, uh, all the best waiting rooms. <laughs> the interesting part is it's free. Yes. But yes. you can get a subscription, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So you can get um a, go on our website and you can get a one year subscription for 9.99 or two years for 14.99, but we have over 300 pick up locations where you can pick up a compl- complimentary copy mm-hmm. and there's a whole list um, in every city for every city in San Joaquin of the exact business that you can go to and yes. pick one up mm-hmm. and then we replenish them throughout the month so there's probably always copies there yes. so people can just go and, and grab it well, and that's again what we just want to you know support the community and that's why we do that oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah what's and- readership like um, it's hard to tell because of that, but we do have a 25,000 circulation. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's pretty good. And then we have a really high um, online circulation as well because we yeah. have a digital edition. Right. Right. So a lot of people are doing that nowadays. Yeah, and then yeah, we do have a, all of our subscriptions as well, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need a subscription, obviously, to get the digital edition. That's just at sjmag.com. Dot com. Dot yep. com. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, um, and so what day of the month does it usually come out? The first. The first. Yeah. So it takes our, we have a third party distribution company um, and she usually by the fifth, we say, Mm -hmm. um, gets them to all of the high traffic locations. But I think the people that subscribe are the first to get them because it takes her a few days because she spans all five cities in San Joaquin. So she's just running around, dropping them off everywhere. So so it's a good reason to get a subscription. Yes. Yeah. You'll get it. You're you're the early bird with the subscription. Yes, exactly. And then obviously, I mean, we love to support. If you love something, support it. If you love our magazine, support us Support so we would appreciate we appreciate anybody that um, oh, yeah. that does that as well and in like 10 bucks a year i mean it barely pays to, to mail it to you yes yeah, yeah. yeah. true yeah. So. it's a good deal yes it's a good it's a good magazine so now the best of the best this is what we've been talking about this is the big thing in in the area and it's like uh it's the rating scale right it is this is the uh the business Grammys of San Joaquin. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> That's interesting. That's what it is. Yes, yes. It's business a, Grammys. Yes, it really and, is. And the San Joaquin goes to. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's an idea. That. Maybe that will be for next year's oh, party. Right. Yes, we'll yeah. make We'll make some type of statue to give to people. Oh, that would be <laughs> super Ooh. cool. So there's a party. Uh, tell us about the party. Uh, July 14th is right around the corner. Yes, it starts at 5.30 um, at Biagio, like I said. And I actually brought you guys a little gift. Um, I'd love oh, you for did. you all to attend. And then in addition to that, I have um, 20 tickets for you guys to give away to your listeners wow. on Facebook and social media. Yes, let's do wow. that. So that's a $40 value, and you can't all of your all of your loyal listeners can get to come check out the event. All right, all right. So are we lucky or what? Yeah, yes. Now, this so is you, awesome. You heard that. You heard that. So if you uh, if you want to get one of these tickets, send us a message. No, no, no. Why don't we post something on post Facebook? Post on Facebook. Yes. Because this is the best of the best. So, it is. So why don't you post something uh, of the best of San Joaquin? What is your best of San Joaquin? Perfect. Post that it. on our Facebook page, uh, either on Stockton 360 page, or you can do it on the uh, KXVS, the Voice of Stockton page. The Voice page. of Stockton page. Yeah, post, post on the main page, and, uh, and we'll select uh, winners from that. Perfect. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? All and right. Thank you. Yeah, of yes. course. In advance. Thank you, Lindsay. Of course. All right. How cool. So, I'm yeah. excited. So we're going on Thursday. Party. Mm-hmm. Okay. Party after right. after broadcast. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So when does it start? Uh, it starts at 530, but we go until 1030. Okay. So, so we, we get will, to make it. Yeah. You guys will be good to go. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. That's so nice. And you'll get there right when it cools down, so the hot day won't matter too much. Oh, yeah. Time. Well, we were going to bring <laughs> mist bottles. The one with the, that has the automatic the fan. fan on it. I got one of those. <laughs> Somewhere in my closet. Ooh. You guys don't even know what he is. I was an air 
Arizona for three years. So. Oh yeah, yeah. It's is like it really. Yes, yeah, normally. Oh, like, there, it's this is nothing. Yes. Yeah. Wow. This, try 120 degrees. Yeah, sometimes. your shoes catch on fire. Yeah. And, you, and your steering wheel melts. Uh, yes, your shoes do melt actually. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Another breaks coming yeah, up. That's right. You've been listening. Our engineer to just got it done. 360 on KX. <laughs> VS, soon to be on 92.1 FM here in Stockton, California. We are The Voice of Stockton at thevoiceofstockton.org. This is Governor Don. Professor Jimenez. And with our special guest from San Joaquin Magazine, Managing Editor, Lindsay Rodrian. We'll be right back. DJ Nikki D. London Mark. Al X. And you can catch us on the Rise and Shine 209 show. We talk about music, sports, pop culture, and whatever we feel like talking about. Anything that's funny, interesting that we can give you our insight to. From 7 to 10 a.m., Monday through Friday. Right here on KXVS. The Voice of Stockton. Right here on 92.1 FM. Coming soon. Coming soon. On your FM dial. 92.1 KXVS. Are back Stockton 360 live on KXVS, the voice of Stockton, soon to be on 92.1 FM, thanks to the lovely and awesome community of Stockton, California. And of course, we're broadcasting live on the voice of Stockton.org, KXVS.org. This is Governor Don, Professor Jimenez, and we've been having a wonderful conversation with our new friend. Managing uh, editor of San Joaquin Magazine, Lindsay Rodrian. Welcome, Lindsay. Thank you. Well, welcome back. I'm still like floating on a cloud. Wait, I'm so excited. Because you're awesome. <laughs> well, thank you. You guys awesome are awesome floats. as well. Aw, thank you. <laughs> awesome floats. That's right. <laughs> so, so now you came from from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes, I did. V via uh, Phoenix, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Pit yes. stop in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you've been here now for four years. No, no, so I worked um, in Phoenix for the magazine for uh, three years. Oh, you've and been then here for I, a year. Yes, I've been here. So in August is my one year anniversary. Oh, <laughs> yeah, awesome. so, and it's just been so great. I, lo I loved the winter. It reminded me of home. And what's funny is a lot of the people and. Um, and just the area, like mm -hmm. the hominess of the area really reminds me of Pittsburgh, and I really yeah. like that. So I just, I love it here. I'm so excited to Aww. be here. Does, it's awesome. But does it get yeah. this hot in Pittsburgh? Um, not really, I would, but it's humid. Uh, so oh, it gets, oh, so if it's yeah. 85 and like 50% feels like humidity, it, <laughs> you're covered in like a, a bodysuit of sweat. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, everyone's glowing. Humidity. Yeah. Yep. Definitely glowing. <laughs> well, she said that Arizona, Stockton is it's nothing. Stopped. No, now Arizona is dry, so when you step outside, you, it's hard to blink <laughs> or breathe. You can feel your lips getting smaller. Oh yeah, yes. It's. I actually fell in love with water while living there. I wasn't oh. too much of a water drinker. I always mm. drank iced tea. But when you're there, it's like you create. You just crave water. So mm -hmm. I actually attribute Arizona now to my healthy drinking Good. lifestyle because I drink right. a lot of water. <laughs> ah, fine adjustment. Yeah, absolutely. And, so, and you live in Lodi? Yes, I do. Okay, mm -hmm. so you don't have chloramines there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ooh, no, gotcha. did I just say that? <laughs> I'm missing my news stories. <laughs> so now Lodi, which uh, I just heard uh, a, a little bird told me that Lodi was voted uh, Wine Region of the Year. Tweet, tweet. Hi. Yeah. So, so tell us about that. So that's amazing. Yeah. So that was huge for them. We work closely with Loca, um, which is the you know the yes. Lodi Wine Visitors mm -hmm. Association. So they were named by a magazine called Wine Enthusiast, um, mm. Wine Region of the Year, wow. and that is huge because they're up against Napa, yeah. even places in Italy, I believe. Yeah. So it was yeah. just a huge accomplishment for the them. The Champagne Valley. Yes, and, and also they are very <laughs> sustainable in Lodi, which is something that I really appreciate. Mm -hmm. So they um, they just do a great job they deserve that recognition they got to go to new york city yeah. um to receive their award so nice. they're just really stoked on that and yeah. it's it's great because hopefully that brings more people out and you know gets more 
people to the area mm-hmm. and you know further growth and prosperity for Lodi so now we're just never going to be in the same room with Lodi again they're just going to be so full of the, <laughs> their heads well, going to be so <laughs> let's look at it this way Lodi is still part of our region yes of course no, right. so just, we're part I'm of that playing. yes we San, win when San Lodi Joaquin. wins San Joaquin unite so it's funny um my my friends from home they um they would they would call and say, "So are you in Lodi?" Because they oh, yes. would they're like trying to send me you know things in the mail and everything. So I started saying Lodi Lay Hee Hoo. Yes, uh, uh, when I lived in Lathrop, somebody Tell me. somebody called me and said, "When did you move to Lathrop?" Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have a little hilarious story about that as well. So when I was working from Arizona, I was working with my publisher and I said Lathrop, and he looked at me and said. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> well, check this one out. Did you move to Mantica? Mantica? And Manteca. It's, and it, it's funny because in the Filipino language, it's like Mantica. And yeah, I'm like, right. oh, Mantica, mom. They, they cook with that, don't they? Like, yeah. I know, Mantica, mom. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And then we're good old Stockton. Yes. Now, um... So this, this now you talk about how uh, you're able to put together this monthly uh, fantastic magazine on such a small staff. Yes, very small. Tell us about that. Um, basically, a bunch of extremely talented people that work so hard mm. and are self-starters, um, accountable, dependable. They're just so passionate, and that's what makes, I think, that's what makes the magazine so meaningful to me yeah. is that every single person in um, and our staff and on our team cares so much about mm-hmm. the magazine as if it was their own. Yeah. And I've worked at other places where, you know, I didn't necessarily care about the product. I got a paycheck. That's why I was there. Right. And that's basically it. And also, I didn't feel like I mattered or that my voice was heard. You know, it was just the executives mm-hmm. making decisions and I was mm-hmm. just told what to do. But at our magazine, everyone is such an integral part and they care so much that we get in, you know, heated debates about things and we argue like a family yeah. because yeah. everyone cares and they want want everything to be done right so yeah. it's just really this like crazy family that works 15 hours a day and loves each other and also wants to sometimes punch each other oh that's, <laughs> that's great that's how you get get things happen but it really is incredible people will um this the sales executives that we have you know they mm-hmm. they manage all of our accounts and they say that the business owners say oh you know like we looked at your masthead it's under 10 people you know yeah. what's the deal and they're like yeah no nope, that's it yeah. and it's just really impressive if you look at the product that we create that that, that comes from such a small amount of people and it's yeah. just really inspiring to yeah. be around energy that is so passionate and so thoughtful so it just it's great and then you never have to worry because you always know people have the best intentions and it also keeps it interesting as uh, well well shout so, out to the san joaquin team yes they're amazing yes, yes absolutely uh, fantastic awesome roll call time <laughs> yeah shout them out uh neil and patel all right okay michelle cox Okay. David Martinez. Okay. Copper Williams. Okay. Nora Heston Tart. Macy Bennett. Tony Zaccoli. And the one and only Lindsay Rodran. Wow. wow. And, and we know some of those names. Yeah. And our new friend. Him. And our new friend. Yes. Of yes. course. <laughs> Lindsay, uh, you know, just so you know, you are, um, you're in now. So you're always welcome here. Thank you. Okay. We'd love to speak with you again. Uh, we'd love for you to come and share. I would love that. And, um, you know, you, you said that, uh, you know, radio was a dream of yours. So, you know, we have opportunity here for you. <laughs> totally. And uh, we definitely uh, welcome you to uh, come share with us. And it doesn't have to be long format. doesn't. It? If you have something short, something you want to share, uh, we've had people who had 30-second shows. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, so. Micro awesome. shows, yeah, so yeah, to speak. They've yeah. had micro shows. I can yeah. talk about lots of different things. Well, <laughs> yes. You're, so you're welcome to it, and we definitely would love thank to work so with you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. yeah and putting together such me. a wonderful magazine. I know. The, and party. And party. Okay, to so be. party on and Thursday. Today. That's right. Party on Thursday. Now, if you want to win tickets to this party. That's right. The best of San Joaquin party. The best of the best. That's right. All you have to do is get on our Facebook and post something that is the best of San Joaquin. Yes. All right. And so we'll, we'll pick from those posts the winners, and we'll announce them on the air, and you can come down to the station and pick up your tickets thanks to uh, Lindsay Rodgers, awesome. the managing editor of San Joaquin Magazine. Woo! All right, all right. So, that just about does it for our program. Right. Of course, uh, there's plenty more uh, quality programming right here on KXBS, the voice of Stockton. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. So have a good evening. Thanks for tuning in. 
And uh, we love you out there, Stockton. And we look forward to partying with you on Thursday, July 14th. Party. <laughs> yes. All right, go ahead and make your post. Post that best of San Juan Cain on our Facebook page. And if you want to find the link to it, KXVS. Dot org, the voice of Stockton dot org, where we're streaming live. This is Governor Don, Professor Jimenez, and Lindsay Rodrian. San Joaquin Magazine. Thanks again, Lindsay. Thank you, listening audience. Uh, we also want to thank all those who supported this great program, um, Restore Habitat for Humanity, and of course our founder, Professor William Story, Peace and Justice Network. All of you out there, thank you. Can buy you great radio. At The Voice of Stockton, the GoFundMe is a way to help ensure you have great radio here in Stockton. You can be The Voice of Stockton on KXVS. Go to our website, thevoiceofstockton.org, to get more information. Right here on 98.7.